Hey, hi everyone. In this particular lecture, we are going to learn about how to use global variable in Node.js. Now, what are these global variables? Well, global variables are variables that can be accessed from anywhere in your code. But you need to use them carefully, right? Now, I will explain you everything about the global variables. Now, here you can see I am having the list of five global objects which are normally used the most, right? So, starting from this dir name and file name, what are this? Now, let me explain you that with the help of code. Let's go to the script.js file, right? Now, here we will simply write console.log and if I want to use it anywhere inside any file, I can use it. I will show you that, right? Console.log and then put the underscore like this, double underscore and then dir name like this right and along with i will also use this file name right so after doing this just write console.log put the bracket here double underscore and then file name like this after both this uh, line of code you can see this dir name will give me the name of the directory right in which this particular file or this particular code is written and this double underscore file name will give me the name of the file in which this line of code is written, right? Let's save it, save it and go to the terminal, write node script.js, press enter and you can see, first it has printed the name of that particular folder, which is this backend lecture, you can see on the top, right? So it has given me that, basically the complete path of that particular uh, this particular line of code is written in which particular location, right? Complete path of that location. And this second line will have given me the name of the file, right? So backend lecture and slash script.js, which is this. So this could be used anywhere, right? Let me, let me see, take this copy and paste it here like this. You can see, now let's just save it. After saving it, going again to the terminal, right? And node and let's say, make it other.js and press enter you can see i got the file name of that particular this other.js right where the, this line of code is written so this is a global object right that's why it can be used anywhere inside your complete project right similarly similarly if you go here and see this console is also a global object right it is used for logging so we have used it in script.js this console and also in the basically in your other.js and in both the places it is working, right? So that's why it is called the global object. Now, this global, what is this global? Well, this global can be used, let me explain you with the help of the example, right? So for making any variable as global, right? We use this global object. So let's write global here, global, and then put the dot. And after that, give a variable, right? To which you want to assign some value as global right so i want to say uh, name right global dot name equals to let me give my name that is piyush gupta like this oh, got it now if i print it in the script.js right so console dot log like this oh, sorry like this inside of this if i write name right and just go here and write the just first save it and then no script.js press enter you can see i got my name now if i want to use this particular name variable inside this other dot js then what we need to do let me show you so for that let's first remove it and listen to me now i can use this name here in the other dot js also how I, I'm going to show you that, right? So I will do what? I will just simply write console, console.log, put a bracket inside this, I will write the name is, and then put the comma and the name, right? This name is a global variable. I'm getting this uh, line on this particular variable because name should never be put as a, variable name right let's say name one if i use name one that will be right right 
you can see I'm not getting any cut here because the name keyword is actually fig made fixed by the JavaScript, right? That's why it is showing the line here. Now, if I save it and if I run it here, uh, node script.js rather than using this, I'm going to use node other.js, press enter. Okay, I got some error. Okay, fine. Uh, I'm so sorry, I need to import it first, right? So for that purpose, just simply use require require and inside this require method I will just give the address of that particular other file that is like this got it other dot js right and when I remove it save it again going here because this is the main file right script.js is the main file now and your whatever the global variable that you made is, is should be actually in your main file right so just go to here node script.js press enter and now you can see it is taking that particular value from other.js means it is the this particular variable right this global variable is actually accessible in your other.js file also right you can access it here also that's why it is showing me the name is and the Piyush Gupta with the help of this name one variable Got it? So that's how we make our global variable. We make it in the main file and we use it in all the other file which is present inside our project. Right? So I hope you understood the concept very clearly. This is how we make our global variable in Node.js. And I have also explained you some details about the global object. If I talk about this process, so this is basically used to take, take the uh, info about the current process. I have explained it's one of the functioning in the playlist which is about taking the user input with the help of command line so this also can be used anywhere which you want in the node.js right in any file so try to explore it at your own also right go and search for the process object in node.js uh, you will get to learn a lot about it and this is all about today's video thank you so much for watching goodbye